So of course, a seasoned veteran YouTuber like me, with hundreds of Assetto Corsa mod reviews to his name, would never make a giant mistake like forgetting to put the engine into the right mode or something like that. So this is just a hypothetical video that I'm making where I'm gonna take this Radical SR10 around the Nordschleife and comfortably smoke the previous target of 6 minute 45 seconds which passed me may have made more difficult than is necessary. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, let's just say hypothetically it's possible that earlier this week I created a video where I took this new Radical SR10 XXR mod from United Racing Design around this very track and struggled to get it under the 6 minute 45 mark. In fact, I did not get it under the 6 minute 45 mark, which was the target that I thought it should be able to beat. So I made it unnecessarily difficult on myself by having the engine in the wrong mode. So it comes defaulted to cup mode, which limits the power to about 350 horsepower. And uh, I've now got it on full blast, 425 horsepower. So I should be able to, at least in theory, uh, get it around Nords in under six minutes, 45 seconds. But we'll see what happens. So I've got the motion back turned on because that was just too much fun to not repeat. And again, this is all hypothetical. So it is a brilliant car and I'm more than happy to redo this lap just to get to experience a bit more time with this car. It's a good excuse to drive a really fun mod, United Racing Design. Uh, it really knocked this one out of the park. and. Uh, yeah, having that blessing from Radical to say this is pretty close to the real thing is a cool thing. So we'll see, you know, could it beat the, what is it, a decade old? Probably a decade old, that SR8 lap around Nords that you can find the onboard video from, um, where that 6 minute 45 was set in the, uh, again, SR8. Radical known for its just like uncompromising track weapons in this uh, SR10 XXR. I believe is the top in the line from Radical at this point. And uh, yeah, just again, the sort of culmination of those many, many years of automotive development. Whoa. Wow, <laughs> what a break that was. I was sliding that whole time, but somehow managed to keep it under control. Uh, the one thing that's uh, holding me back here slightly is the fact that uh, those extra 75 horsepower that I have enabled uh, through engine settings um, really makes the uh, the car sensitive to hard acceleration, especially when uh, you know coming out of a corner that's less than less than uh, flat ground. I would say of which there are many here at the Nurburgring Nordschleife. So. I was, what, a 305-ish, I think, when I took it around in 350 horsepower mode. Uh, so, a few seconds ahead of that, not much. But that should put me on pace, at least, uh, to beat that 645. And I remember just cresting 250 kilometers an hour up this hill, and now closer to 270. So that is good news all around. This is a very different experience as a lap, of course, because I'm coming into the corners, whoa, a lot hotter than I was before. And somebody very, uh, very uh, wisely suggested that I not take it through the inner, inner loop of the carousel. Car sits too low, too much carbon fiber. Are using ground effects, so. Yeah, we'll stay high in the carousels, which is going to give back a bit of time, I suppose. And this is actually my first lap, so what you're seeing here, it's not clean. That's why you're not looking at a well-practiced veteran of the 425 horsepower version here at Nordschleife. No never more evident than that last corner. Sips 
subscribe to Sim Racing 604, my favorite YouTube channel. And I uh, found out that my friend and yours, the great SHR modding creator of the best sounds in the Settle Corsa history, did the sounds for this. So those of you saying this sounds really good, a lot of people saying it sounds better than the SR3. I actually like the SR3 as well, but uh, if you like these sounds, you can thank the great SHR modding. My homie. We try and keep in touch via email. Super nice cat and does amazing work. All right, so just a couple more corners to go. Oh, going through the uh, carousel as I was advised not to do. So yeah, I think I'm some five seconds ahead of where I was last time out actually shock me if we hit the limiter on the Dottinger straight here. There is a wide open gearing version where the theoretical top speed is 308 I believe. Let's see what it is here. 288. Alright, so we're not. So uh, standard gearing works well for this apparently, although we're gonna go down this hill and gain even more speed, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I should be able to smoke that 645. Assuming I can get it under control under in this braking zone. Ooh. And just about didn't there. Alright, one more corner here. Keep it together, Mike. Alright, there we go. 640.337. And there's a lot more in the car, frankly. <laughs> like I said, that was my first lap. So, um, yeah, I know there's a lot more. So, fun as always. And um, apologies if I messed up the video earlier this week by putting it in the wrong engine mode. Hypothetically, I made a mistake. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.